Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you a super simple code trick that you can use to make anything on your Squarespace website transparent. We can adjust the transparency by percentage, making something just slightly less visible like this or almost completely invisible like this. Now we can apply this to literally anything in a Squarespace website by using something known as a block ID. In this tutorial, I'll teach you how to grab that block ID and where to add this code and how to combine block IDs if you want a few different things on your site to have the same level of transparency. Now, this is a super quick tutorial, so I'm going to go ahead and share my screen so we can get started. Here we are inside Squarespace, and I do want to mention this tutorial will work for any version of Squarespace. We're using what's known as a block ID, and this block ID is available in any version, even older sites built on version 7. Now to grab this block ID information for our code today, I'm using a free Chrome extension. I'll link to it in the description below. One click and it will show you the IDs for everything on the page. Not affiliated with them, just a fan, and the link to it is in the description below. But if we scroll down a little bit further, I want you to see I have three items in this page section. I have an image, I have a shape, and I have a text block with a background. We're going to use CSS to adjust the opacity of each one of these, making them slightly transparent. Now again, I'm going to open this up to grab that block ID, and we'll go ahead and start with the shape right here in the middle. Clicking on this, I'm going to turn off the extension. I'm going to navigate to Design, and I'll select Custom CSS. Here, I'm going to paste the block ID for that shape, and then I'm going to open up a curly bracket, and I'll say Opacity 0.5. And now it is 50% transparent. Pretty cool, right? I can also say 5% if I want to make it almost invisible, we can barely see it. Or maybe I'll say 85% to make it pretty darn visible, but we can still slightly see the background and a little bit of Gus the Pineapple sunglasses peeking through right there. Let's apply this to another block on this specific section. I'll click that extension again, and I'll grab the block ID for Gus the Pineapple. On a new line here in my code, I'm going to add the block ID for Gus, and here I'll go ahead and say opacity spelled correctly. There we go. Opacity 0.3. And there we go. Now we can see the lines of this background image showing up through Gus, as well as the shape. We've got different opacities going on here. Now, if you want to combine block IDs and have them have the same level of transparency, we can totally do that. You don't need a new line. I'll go ahead and remove the line of code that we added for Gus the Pineapple. I'll add a comma after the block ID for that shape. And here I'll paste the block ID. And now both of them are at 85%. What if we made that 50%? Now a quick pro tip about these values, 50% is the same as saying 0.5. Either one of those values will work. So if we say 0.75, that's going to be the same level of transparency as 75%. Okay? Awesome. Now one last time, that block ID effect, I'm going to click the Chrome extension. We'll grab the block ID for the text block with the background. I will add a comma and paste it here and check it out. It's a little bit transparent. But let's say we want that one to be its own level of transparency. I'll go ahead and add a new line of code, open up a curly bracket. I'll say opacity, and here we'll say 0.25. Now it's a lot more transparent than the other two elements on the specific page section. Whatever you decide to change, just make sure you select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. Alrighty, the link to that block ID Chrome extension is listed in the description below. I'm not affiliated, just a fan. And I've also included that base code for adjusting the opacity for just about anything in Squarespace. Now, if this is your first time using CSS, I would love for you to check out my intro class. It's available for free at insidethesquare.co forward slash learn. It covers more basics about CSS that are really helpful to know if you're just getting started with code. That's available right now at insidethesquare.co forward slash learn. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, give me a like and a comment and definitely subscribe to my channel because I post a brand new Squarespace tutorial every single week and I'd love to teach you the latest. Thanks again for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you're going to love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I put all of my custom codes and pro tips inside one gigantic PDF available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.